accomplished third trimester Allison. <laughs> um, I haven't done my hair yet, it's fine. And I wore this shirt a couple weeks ago in one of these videos, but hello, my name is Allison Kay, and I'm doing my 27 week pregnancy update. Um, I'm filming this at 28 weeks. I like to, you know, let the whole week go by before I talk about it. That way I can share all of the stats and symptoms. Um, so I do have some notes I will set up here and read to you guys about baby, about myself. And then I also asked some questions on Instagram. Well, just a question. I asked if you guys had any questions or anything that I haven't talked about in these updates that you wanted to know about. So um, I will be answering those as well um, at the end of this because I just want to get into the baby stuff, like baby and me and like the typical and then I'll get into some non-typical. I also want to show you guys the nursery. I just got the crib. Um, so if you want to see that, that will also be at the end of this video. So it probably won't even be that long still. I just will get right into it and we'll talk and then yeah, get to the fun stuff. So I think it's all fun actually, but you know, um, anyway, I'm washing my bedding though today and yeah, my hair is not done and stuff, but you don't need to have makeup and have your hair done all the time in life. Can I just say that? Because I really think people don't need makeup all the time or have their hair on hair done all the time to be beautiful. And especially like right now I'm pregnant and not that you have to be pregnant or not, but like it doesn't really make a difference. But I'm like, why can't I just delight in whatever's going on? I mean, yeah, I wish this pimple, it's actually just like scabbed over now. I wish it wasn't there, but oh well, that's life. So anyway, um, the baby is a little boy and he is doing really well. He is about 14 and a half to 15 inches. My two apps were a little bit different on this this week. Um, so 14 and a half to 15 inches, somewhere in that range and about two pounds, which is crazy. Two pounds for a little boy, like little baby. Um, I've mentioned this before, but my, my husband's cousin had a baby, two babies, twins, and they were both about two pounds when they were born because they were very premature. Um, it came around this time, around week 28 um, is actually when they came. So they were each about two pounds, and I saw them at that point, and so I know kind of what he looks like now, which is crazy um, to think about. But about the size of a head of romaine lettuce, 14, 15 inches, about two pounds. Um, most of his development these days is in his brain. His body, his organs are all, like, developed. Um, but his brain, yeah, is developing more and more, and his um, body is putting on fat, which will help him to regulate his temperature, and it just makes him look more full and less skeletal. <laughs> um, and then he's also practicing breathing in there. So there's no air in a uterus, but um, there's amniotic fluid that he is practicing breathing. Sorry, I try to make my glasses look a little less glared um, over. Excuse me. But yeah, so he is doing well and is practicing breathing, which is really good because he needs to know how to do that when he comes out. <laughs> um, so that is it for baby boy. And on to my stats and symptoms and things. Um, I don't remember, oh shoot, I was gonna look at how much I weighed. Um, I said week 26, about 137. I probably was about 139 this week, um, 138, 139. I measured myself at the end of this week and it was like 138. Um, I had a day where I ate a lot, measured the next day, and it was more. So <laughs> roughly a pound, one to two pounds that week of weight gain. Um, but I have had leg cramps still. I'm trying to stay hydrated, but I still have them a little bit. Um, not every night, but it seems like it happens usually when I'm sleeping. It's like the only time I really feel them. Um, but I have had some, yeah, leg cramps in the evening. And I also had a little bit of dizziness one day, especially like, at the beginning of the pregnancy, I was really dizzy, or I just, like, had a lot of dizziness when I would stand up and stuff. Now, it's not so much that, but there was one day when I would just, like, turn a little bit, and I'd feel like, whoa, like, the world is, like, yeah, I was just, like, very dizzy, like, vertigo. Um, but the next day, I threw up in the morning, and I thought about talking to my doctor about this, but I really feel like I just ate something weird or something, I don't know. Um, but even though I got sick that morning, I felt better later in the day. Um, and I've been doing okay ever since, and baby, he was moving all the time through this. He seemed fine to me, so I just kind of rode that out. <laughs> um, also, congestion. I've had a little bit more nasal congestion lately. I do suffer from seasonal allergies pretty badly, um, so I think that's not helping anything. And then also being pregnant, I just have been dealing with allergies. Um, and so a lot of, like, not a lot, but some nasal congestion and, like, runniness. 
Um, so that is it for that stuff. And now getting into your guys' questions. I have two questions um, that I want to go over. And the first one is from Mary. And she asked, are there any foods that you have been craving or liking more? Um, I definitely do have a sweet tooth. I've always had a sweet tooth in life, though. I feel like I don't really have any specific cravings, nothing that's long-lasting. And by long-lasting, I mean even something that I've wanted for like two days in a row. Like I want something every day, um, but it's always different. And before I was ever pregnant, for years and years, I've been this way. I'll just crave certain foods. Um, I do find that I'm sitting around and I'll be like, apple butter, that sounds amazing. Some fresh, if you don't know what apple butter is, it's like delicious apple spread, like cooked apples. Anyway, um, I'm not explaining it very well, but it is delicious. And I think I was thinking about apple orchards in the fall time and I was like, apple butter sounds so good. Um, but I've been loving junk food. Um, I'm trying to eat like a balance, <laughs> but I have been loving ice cream is so good. And, uh, yeah, just kind of nothing craving. Like there are, I haven't been any crazy cravings. Um, I just, I love food. I love pizza. I love ice cream. I love, um, chili dogs. Apple butter sounds good. Um, I don't know. It just, it all sounds good. <laughs> so that is the best I can answer that question. And then Cammie asked me, um, uh, I think what she was saying was, do we have a birth plan? Um, she asked some, I had a hard time understanding exactly how she phrased it, but I think that's what she was getting at. Um, she asked about Luke and I and a birth plan. So, uh, we don't really have anything exact um and I don't think Luke really cares unless he just wants the baby come out safely and wants me to be safe and healthy as well um I'm pretty sure <laughs> if I asked him that's what he would say um but for me my idea of a birth plan right now is to try to go natural for a while and if I feel like I need an epidural I'll get the epidural that is my current thought on things um my sister had low platelets and could not have an epidural so I'm also in the back of my mind knowing like if something comes up with my platelet levels and I'm not allowed to have one, then I'm not allowed to have one and I'll just have to do it without. Um, but I've also, you know, read up on things and um, plan on talking to my doctor more about this, but I know there are other options like nitrous oxide, which they aren't really doing much of right now with the COVID pandemic, um, because I think that those patients are using nitrous oxide, which is way more important than women in labor are using it because we have other options. <laughs> um, but yeah, so that's an option. Uh, there are like drugs you can get through the, your IV. Um, I forget what other, th there's a couple other little minor things that don't happen very often. It sounds like, um, and then there's the epidural. So I am planning on, I'm, I'm not opposed to an epidural, but I'm planning on trying to go for a while without it. I would like to ideally get to like five or six centimeters dilated before I would get the epidural, but we'll just see how it goes. I don't know. Um, as long as he is here and he is healthy, um, that is the, the goal is to give birth, <laughs> to get him out of me safely, um, and that both of us will hopefully be pretty healthy afterward. That's the goal. So um, those are the answers to the questions. I'm going to now take you guys... Uh, down to the nursery and show you what's going on in there. <laughs> you want to show them the nursery? She doesn't care. So here it is so far. We have a diaper pail and some bags for it. My friend just gave them to me because she won't be at my shower. Um, and so, yeah, and then this is our Upper Baby Vista stroller. It was used from someone who had it from someone else that had used it. So this is our very used, still in good condition stroller. I'm very, very excited about it. Um, and then over here, these items will probably be in the nursery as well. Um, the tree is an if, iffy thing, but if we want to use it for decor, it is there. And then the crib. So we got this last week um, during the 27, 27th week of my pregnancy. Um, we went to Ikea and it is the Gulliver crib. It is $100. Um, the mattress, I think we got like the $60 mattress or 70, whatever it is, I think it's 60 and it looks great i love it <laughs> i think this is the same one my sister has um and yeah i'm just really really happy with it and then that board is to make it into a toddler bed you take this off and put that up um and it's a toddler bed so perfect and that's it for the room i think we will be keeping it about here roughly on this wall um maybe shifting it a little bit you know <laughs> and then hopefully getting a rocking chair probably in that corner and then a nine cube cube unit here and we'll sit um, the nightlight on it and like a 
time to wake clock um, and we'll probably use it also as a changing table so that's the plan that's what I'm thinking right now unless we want to switch things up a little bit we'll see um, but that is kind of what I'm thinking right now we do have some curtains to put up here I just haven't done it yet and so yeah that's what the room's looking like thank you for watching I hope you enjoyed this video if you liked it give it a thumbs up and feel free to comment down below um, if you have any more questions for me that I can answer in my next one um, I'm through the first two trimesters into the last trimester now so anything that you want to ask about the first two trimesters or plans for um, you know third trimester birth postpartum I'm open to ask or to answering questions and I also um, would just love to hear from you guys so if you have any comments let me know down below I will talk to you guys later have a great day God bless bye